This summer, our local school districts are scrambling to address a rapidly evolving technology, artificial intelligence. It's in direct response to students bringing it into the classroom last year and triggering some questions about its ethical use. West Chu's Sonica Dange talked with some local districts launching new guidelines to police the new technology and lean into it. It was only a matter of time before artificial intelligence found its way into our schools and our local districts are working hard to keep up. I would say this is probably the biggest thing since the internet um, to really impact school districts. Seminole County embraced artificial intelligence last school year, launching programs at Crooms Academy and Haggerty High School. This year they're expanding the program to include level two classes and in stating a new student code of conduct and honor code. That really focuses on plagiarism um, and students trying to turn in work that, that maybe re isn't representative of their own understanding or their own knowledge. Were there any students that did own up to it last year? We did. We had some students. This summer, Seminole County also formed an eight-person committee that will meet every other week to refine their policies. We need to prepare students for a world where artificial intelligence exists. And so if we are asking a student to write something, um, perhaps the first go at that, we say to them, we want you to prompt artificial intelligence to write that. We want to see what your prompt was. We want to see what work the artificial intelligence generated. And then we want to see your revisions based on your original thought. Volusia County Schools taking a very similar approach. It's just flipped the way homework is so that homework is no longer the assessment. Uh, homework is the preparation for the assessment that is going to occur in the classroom. Earlier this summer, Volusia County even held a training seminar for teachers. The method of teaching, the pedagogy of teaching, will definitely change. For instance, it can write very specific lesson plans for them. A quick demonstration shows how. This usually is very stressful for a teacher because they know this takes them hours and they only have so much time, right? But within probably 20 minutes, I'd have this thing knocked out. And that's not the only way artificial intelligence will help the district this year. If there's a student that has hearing difficulties uh, we can use software where as the teacher speaks, there's a running tabulation or a translation right on the screen for the student. A lot of benefit as districts embrace the technology, even as the list of challenges to address continues to grow. Is there a way for teachers to definitively look at a document turned in by a student this year and say, this is artificial intelligence? Not at the moment. I think detection will always have to lag behind the development of the AI because you don't know what you're detecting until the AI um, exists. Um, so I think you know there will there's an academic integrity question that we'll always have to grapple with. But the bottom line, it's time to adjust to a technology that shows no sign of going away. We have to get our students prepared for a world that doesn't exist yet. Sonica Dange, WESH 2 News. Another worry is the use of so-called deep fakes to attack other students. Seminole County says that issue would fall under bullying in the student honor code. Volusia County says this school year will be experimental, as you might imagine, and they're hoping to hear what students, parents, and teachers think.